Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Anna and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Twisted Retreat, Creepy Crate, and The Abominable Book Club. <laughs> So I have my boxes right here. I think I'm going to start with a Twisted Retreat. So this is the main box of Twisted Retreat. It looks like the first thing that I see on the very top is a note from Twisted Retreat saying that they had to swap out an item. Then we have the items. You can pause here if you want to know what's in the box. First item in the box is I think it's a towel. According to their note, I guess this towel was supposed to be in the June box. They swapped out some garden tools for the towel and this towel is inspired by Amityville Horror. Okay, this towel is kind of big so I'm just gonna do a separate shot of when it's open. Next thing I see in the box is this creepy looking artwork kind of reminds me of Supernatural. Oh, it's uh, stained glass. It says uh, the ritual stained glass. This exclusive stained glass acrylic is inspired by Adam Neville's The Ritual. The art is by Veronica Lex GM. That's cool. I have this book, I just haven't read it. I did just finish reading um, Adam Neville's The Reddening, which I really loved. And the next thing I see is this, I think it's a bath bomb. It's a sanctuary steam. Oh, never mind, it's a steamer. It's a bird box shower steamer. This exclusive shower steamer by Petrichor Inc. is inspired by Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. It smells good. It has kind of a floral scent. Next thing I see is this pink strawberry frosé. Strawberry frosé mix. Oh, that sounds... I love strawberry. Strawberry is my favorite. I don't know what a frosé is. And then there's also this mojito mix. So it says, Frosé and mojito mix, enjoy a cocktail or mocktail with these mixes from gourmet to village. And then I see a couple of big boxes. The Twisted Retreat always comes with a candle. This one also smells very floral. It says the Bone Orchard Candle. Enjoy our final candle until autumn. This one is inspired by the Bone Orchard by Sarah A. Miller. It smells of lilies, lilacs, and incense. Ooh, I like this one. This is so cool. It's a, like a lunch box or a lunch container. says cabin at the end of the world food container keep your meals fresh with this exclusive food container inspired by paul tremblay's novel that's so cool that's how it looks on the inside there's another big box in here oh cool it's one of those book bases is Apocalyptic Anthology, Tales of Survival and Desolation, Twisted Retreat. It's cute. Uh, so this is the book-shaped pot. Store stationery, cutlery, plants, bookmarks, or whatever you please in this exclusive book-shaped pot designed by typical.ghost. We have a bookmark. The book, Blood Covenant by Alan Baxter. I love that cover. I 
and try this. And pages. And the hardcover. That's gorgeous. It says, whatever happens, don't bleed. What should have been a breeze of a bank heist for James Glenn and his crew goes violently wrong, forcing them to flee, bloodstained and angry. They stumble onto a remote lodge that doesn't open for another month, a perfect place to lie low until the heat's off, except it's occupied. The Moore family, just arrived to prepare for the season, are taken hostage by the criminals, but not without bloodshed. And when blood gets spilled, something ancient notices, something malevolent, something ravenous, their only hope is the youngest Moore, teenager Reuben, outside and unseen, when James and his gang arrive. It's up to Reuben to get help and save his family, but the influence of the ancient evil is taking a toll on him as well. Okay, that's it for the Twisted Retreat box. I think I'm gonna do Creepy Crate next. So this is my Creepy Crate. The first thing I see is a mug. Oh no! It's broken. It's broken. That would have been such a cute mug. And then there's a sticker. I don't know what it is. is that a moth? I don't know. I see a creepy crate pin. Another sticker, Memento Mori. And there's a t-shirt in here. Oh, cool. Oh, I like this. I'm going to wear this in my next video. That's so cute, isn't it? And then last but not least is... The book, it's The Secret History of Bigfoot, Field Notes on a North American Monster. Real or not, why do we want to believe? Bigfoot is an instantly recognizable figure. Through the decades, this elusive primate has been featured in movies and books and on coffee mugs, beer koozies, car polish, and CBD oil. Which begs the question, what is it about Bigfoot that's caught hold of our imaginations? Journalist and self-diagnosed skeptic John O'Connor is fascinated by Sasquatch. Curious to learn more, he embarks on a quest through the North American wilds in search of Bigfoot, its myth and meaning. Alongside an eccentric cast of characters, he explores the zany and secretive world of cryptozoology, tracking Bigfoot through ancient folklore to Harry and the Hendersons, while examining the forces behind our ever-widening belief in the supernatural. As O'Connor treks through the shrouded forests of the Pacific Northwest, listens to first-hand accounts and attends Bigfoot conventions, he's left wondering what happens when the lines between myth and reality blur. With sharp wit and an adventurous spirit, this heartfelt exploration of a cornerstone of American folklore unpacks why we believe in the things that we do, what that says about us, and how it shapes our world. Is this not fiction? I think this is, oh, it says travel, it's travel. Then lastly, I'm going to be opening my abominable book box. This first, we have some Bakewell Tart Gourmet Popcorn. Uh, it's a smooth caramel with cherry and almond. Then, as always, we get this bag of coffee and tea, a variety of coffee and tea, and then we have a pin, Stephen King's It. We have a couple bookmarks, 
on the Mobile Club, and there's always like a short story in the back. And then we have our um, gift wrapped book. So we don't know what this one's going to be. Let's see. It says uh, The Split by Sharon Bolton. She'll never stop running, but he'll never stop looking. Sounds like a thriller. She's got nowhere left to hide. A year ago, Felicity Lloyd fled England to a remote island, escaping her past and the man she once loved. Can she keep running her whole life? And now he's coming for her. Freddie Lloyd has served time for murder, and now he wants her back. Wherever she is, he won't stop until he finds her. Will he be able to track her to the ends of the earth? Together, they'll find themselves trapped and in danger. Who will survive? Sounds more like a thriller. And then we have... Murr by Polly Hall. Says, Murr has a goblin inside her, a voice in her head that tells her all the things she's done wrong, that berates her and drags her down. Desperately searching for her birth parents across dilapidated seaside towns in the south coast of England, she finds herself silenced and cut off at every step. Cayenne is trapped in a loveless marriage, the distance between her and her husband growing further and further each day. Longing for a child, she has visions promising her a baby. As Murr's frustrations grow, the goblin in her grows louder and louder, threatening to tear apart the few relationships she holds dear and destroy everything around her. When Cayenne finds her husband growing closer to his daughter, Cayenne's stepdaughter, and pushing her further out of his life, she makes a decision that sends her into a terrible spiral. The stories of these women will unlock a past filled with dark secrets and strange connections, all leading to an unforgettable, horrific climax. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I've never heard of this book. And one more book inside the box is All Who Wander Are Lost, Destination Horror Stories by Gemma Amor. All Who Wander Are Lost. First Landing State Park, Antarctica, Mongolia, France, Norway, Ireland, Somerset, Egypt, a giant glacier in an unnamed land. What do all these places have in common? They're the perfect place to set a horror story, is what? In this brand new collection of destination-based tales of terror, Bram Stoker and British Fantasy Award-nominated author Gemma Amor uh, takes us on a series of adventures through the weird and the wonderful, the strange and the unexplainable across the remotest, wildest parts of this world, and through lands yet to be discovered. Expect dark and deranged encounters, beautiful vistas, Old gods, ghosts, peculiar creatures, vampires, and that most terrifying of all monsters, mankind. This sounds like it's going to be really good. I feel like I need to read it somewhere atmospheric. Somewhere that sets the tone, the mood. So, these are all the books I've acquired from... My recent book boxes. Again, that's The Twisted Retreat, the Creepy Crate, and The Abominable Book Club. I think probably my favorite uh, item from from these three boxes, I think is the t-shirt. I love it. I love that. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube video of my unboxing of Twisted Retreat, Creepy Crate, and Abominable Book Box. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And please let me know what item in the box was your favorite. If you've read any of the books and highly recommend it, let me know. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.